Our next guest, an old friend of mine from my days living in the Midwest. Bet you didn't know that. I used to live in Kansas City, Missouri. Rob Carson is with us, host of Rob Carson's What in the World here on Newsmax and the Newsmax Daily Podcast, which you can get wherever you get your podcast. That is one heck of a podcast. I listen to it, Rob. I'd say three days a week on my drive home because I live out in the burbs with the kids. But good to see you, my friend. How are you? I'm good, buddy. It's great to be on your show, and uh, and uh, again, congratulations on being with Newsmax. I'm uh, I'm I'm proud to be a part of the team, and I it's nice to be working with you. I'm not sure if it's sure if it's so nice to work with me, but you know, it's nice to work with you. It is good to work with you. Your podcast has been like a rocket ship. Uh, it's done so well. So good for you on that. A really good listen. Um, interesting. I remember remember when I came into your studios out there in Missouri in the old yeah. days, way back. <laughs> well, things have changed quite a bit. I, I have a TV lighting now. Um, Good. Uh, you know, I've got a background and everything. It's it's pretty cool. I'm actually not in Washington D.C. I know, kind of hard to believe. Oh. Um, but but the thing is, I, I think it's interesting. And and uh, Chris Ruddy gave me the opportunity to not only do my TV show but also the podcast. Um, I wrote for Rush Limbaugh for over 20 years. I I wrote for him right out of college, and I I brought funny to his show. We did political satire, and and uh, a huge void has been left in. Uh, the oral media with his uh, with his death. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm here to fill any void that Rush Limbaugh can can uh, that leak that he left. But uh, you know, uh, there are so many people who have opinions, but so few have a sense of humor or, or want to entertain people. So I want to entertain people and inform people. I hope Rob, that's what you get when you when you listen to the podcast. That you not only uh, get the news in, in encapsulated, very rapid fire, very rapid fire, and then uh, also you know occasionally uh, do a, do a spit take. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's exactly what you're, hey, let me ask you something right now. You, you've been talking about this a lot in your podcast. Dr. Fauci, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the indomitable Dr. Fauci, been in our lives now for a couple of years, been on the American public scene for 40 years, who's a big part of the AIDS pandemic. Um, it seems like the bloom is finally sort of coming off the rose with Dr. Fauci. Where are you on this whole fire, Dr. Fauci thing? Oh, I think he ought to be uh, removed from office for sure. Um, it's amazing what uh, bureaucrats who've been in Washington, D.C., uh, who've been pretty much self-serving their entire careers, uh, one of them is in the White House. Uh, Dr. Fauci has been wrong on everything. Uh, he pursued, oddly enough, with the AIDS virus and with HIV, he pursued the vaccine thing. That's where he went in initially. That's been like almost 40 years, no vaccine. Right. Uh, instead of looking at prophylaxis um, and other things, and he did the same thing with regard to um, this. It, it looks like his department funded gain-of-function research in the Wuhan lab. That's becoming nakedly obvious. Uh, and if that is the case, the man needs to be removed from office because that's what caused the pandemic. And, and it looks like he was part of it. There should be no doubt he needs to be removed from office. Anybody else, they'd already be gone. I, I keep saying that. Yeah. Anyone else in the federal bureaucracy, they would already be gone. I want to play a soundbite. Uh, this is Dr. Fauci was on Meet the Press yesterday, and he has treaded into a very, very weird place right now uh, in the public sphere. Take a listen. A lot of what you're seeing as attacks on me, quite frankly, are attacks on science. Because all of the things that I have spoken about consistently from the very beginning have been fundamentally based on science. Sometimes those things were inconvenient truths for people, and there was pushback against me. So if you are trying to, do, you know, get at me as a public health official and a scientist, you're really attacking not only Dr. Anthony Fauci, you're attacking science. Rob, your take on addressing yourself in the third person on network television. Uh, it is, it is, uh, well, uh, it is nonsense. That is absolute nonsense. And and the thing is, he's doing a major CYA. Uh, he is doing what so many uh, people from the left try to do, and that is uh, calling names, uh, saying you're this, you're a racist, you're anti-science, you're a homophobe, you're a this, you're a that, you're a white supremacist. That's the same kind of vague generalities they throw out. It is very clear he is under a great deal of heat. It is very clear that he knew that uh, Wuhan was involved, the lab in, in Wuhan was involved involved. Uh, and he knew that there was the real possibility. And I, my personally, th there could be no doubt that he doesn't think that th there's a really good chance that the virus came from the Wuhan lab. Honestly, if, if somebody with no medical background like me right. <laughs> can put two and two together, then obviously the guy who's heading up the entire war on the virus uh, obviously knows something uh, that I would know. Uh, and he's just afraid to admit it. And now he's saying that you're anti-science if you don't believe him. If you don't believe what he says, you're anti-science, and that's nonsense.
And the real victim is millions of Americans and millions of people worldwide who have either uh, succumbed to the virus or had this virus and have dealt, have put up with this misinformation for the better part of a year and a half. Uh, Rob Carson, so good to see you. Rob Carson, the host of Rob Carson's What in the World, right here on Newsmax and the Newsmax Daily Podcast. You can download that wherever you get your podcast. Rob Carson, one final thought. Go ahead. Yeah, if you would, please just go to Apple Podcasts and you can download it there, okay? Yep. Uh, get it on your phone. And if you have any questions, go to newsmaxtv.com slash podcast for all the other digital platforms. Good seeing you, my friend. Talk to you again you too, soon. Buddy. That is Rob Carson. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.